So just to show a little bit of what that looks like, if I look at my media management tab, everything is completely integrated. Let's see if it's actually coming up. That's, uh, well, we'll come back to that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the, uh, the internet got me there for a second. So just to keep on going back. Into it's the internet gremlins. Yeah, you know, the gremlins Damn happen, gremlins. sometimes the demos. So. The, um, inside the, the interface here, um, so let's uh, go back up to our, our profile. So we have the ability to you know, view and edit my blog, view and edit my profile. We have a My Business section. So this is where things that are currently in your back office under My Tools, um, things like managing your account, managing affiliate status, commissions earned, all of that now is up underneath this area underneath the My Business section. So if I go and I click you know, for leaderboards, for instance, you can see leaderboards. You know, I have a team emailer. Now, one of the things we did with a team emailer that's really, really cool is we allowed it to, we provided more tools to be able to segment lists. So you can individually target based on program plus paid and unpaid, plus along with the relationships that you have in all your downlines. So coming back and just um, going back, and we'll just, you know, at this point, I think everybody has a lay of the land of kind of where everything is, so let's just make some blog posts. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Badass. Can I badass that? <laughs> yeah, you will, actually. So let's just do, um, let me pull out just to make sure. Let's just uh, do a couple of just, you know, simple posts. So um, let's just say, isn't ENV2 awesome as a first post? So in this, um, in this feed, you know, I can basically, I'm putting my message title, I'm putting my descriptions, everything that I would normally put it into a creation post right in this step. So let me just put in a little bit of text here. You know, it's an inline editor. You have different options to be able to form it, format your posts and such. Um, and then I, one of the things I get to do is I get to select who this is going to be seen by. So if I actually look and I hit the drop down, we have the ability to have both private and public posts inside of ENV2. So one of the things that you can do is you can target within your, within your teams of who do I want to see that. And we'll talk about that a little bit as we go on, as we start seeing some private posts actually uh, go into the activity feed. But for now, I'm just going to make a public blog post. So down here, I would actually select public blog. And then I can select which blog it's going to go to. One of the things we've added with ENV2 is you're going to have the ability to have from one EN account multiple blogs. Every, every time I see this, I get more and more and more excited, you know? <laughs> well, it allows you as an individual, because we want ultimately your Ian account to be the center of your blogging universe. So it allows you to be able to have one place to manage all your content and be able to have distinct messages based on where you're going out online. And so, you know, we wanted to make sure that we had it to where, you know, you don't have to have multiple hosting accounts to be able to have different blogs online. You know, why not just have it here? You get to select where that content goes to, and it's av immediately available across um, everything, just as grandma proof as everything else. Hey, hey, Casey, what about if somebody wants to have different domains, like work with David Sharp online, for example? He, he's got a blog outside. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I guess I should mention that now, huh? The, um, one of the things that you know, we have in the new system, everybody's blog right now is empowernetwork.com slash Ian username. Well, in the new system, you can actually map that to your own custom domain. I thought they might like that one. I gotta be distracting. <laughs> so, so what if they want ten blogs on different domains? Can they do that? Oh uh, yeah, we, we can do that from the same feature. Just yeah, drop from down. the same feature set from the same. How about feature? ten different domain, like ten different domains yep, too? Ten different domains too. So ultimately. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Man had just had a heart attack. He just went down. Man down. See I just want to say, screw you, Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
presentation, you know? It's hard to get through. <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't even made our first blog post yet. First title, Empower Network Screws I love that guy. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and select the, the, the blog I'm going to post it to, just my standard Empower Network blog. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the category. We have the ability for you to add categories, just like you would in WordPress in the prior system. So I'm going to just going to select Demo as the category that this is going to go to. Then we also have the ability right in line to be able to add any kind of SEO options. If you wanted to put meta titles, keywords, or descriptions right in the blog post, you can. So I'm just going to put a couple of things here and just put a demo tag, um, demo. You know, we'll say screw Facebook as a, you know, keyword. I almost want to chant screw Facebook. So, and then, uh, <laughs> um, I'm distracting. Sorry, Casey. Yeah, no, no, no. This, is this may take longer than expected. Yeah. <laughs> so I put in my first EMV2 demo as my description. And let's just go ahead and hit publish. So as soon as I hit publish, it immediately posts my activity feed. And so, and also with the public post, anybody who is in your team, basically your sponsor in your front line, sees it also appear in their activity feed immediately. So, so just, just to be clear, like this activity feed, if, if I've got 5,000 people sponsored uh, and uh, I post this, they log in, they'll see my post right there in their back yep, office. They'll post, and we do have, yep. That's big. And we do, we do have some sorting options to make this a little bit, uh, you know, manageable as well, because, you know, ultimately, especially for big teams, you want to be able to see if it's the latest content. We also allow you to search by the number of badasses a particular post has gotten. We'll show the badass uh, button here in a minute. We also have things like most controversial or reputational based on comments. Um, so you can see how many comments are there. And then I can also filter just to view my own posts. So if I'm working on my blog or a couple of different things, I can filter the activity feed out that way. So let's go ahead and look at another post type. So you know, I came out here shooting a video. Everyone here shoots videos, so I figured that would be a good one to show. Um, so a video post acts somewhat the same as a text post just to start. So, you know, I'd enter in my title. So let's do a, uh, uh, my first video post. And, and adding the video, you can add from multiple sources. So if I click the Add Video button, Ultimately, I can start, I can continue to embed from a URL. So for people who are still using external services other than our own, we suggest you get ours, but if you're using things other than our own, you know, we do still support that. And so, you know, just, I'm going to make a first one just showing a YouTube post. I'm going to, I've got a video up here that I'm just going to move over to. It's as easy as just putting the URL from the share link on YouTube. So all you do is you, you copy and paste your URL, click add video, it immediately adds it straight into the feed. <laughs> Now, now, Casey, that there, what, what else, uh, what other sites does that work with? The... Anything that has a URL that will embed. And we also okay. support, we continue to support embed code. So anything in an iframe link or uh -huh. anything in uh, JavaScript embed, we still support. We haven't taken that away. Okay. So it's all still there. And one of the cool things about video is you can actually play the video. Like I showed on, we were showing kind of a product of how you would be able to see it. You know, I can view that right now straight out of the, uh, of the activity feed. So as I'm writing my post, you know, let's, you know, we can watch it, we can get some context. I can see kind of, as I'm wanting to comment on different timestamps, I can, so. So let's just go ahead and put in a little bit of text. Dude, I'm getting like, it's pumped up. <laughs> kind of stop that at a weird spot. Let's move it back to the beginning. All right, so the same thing, too. I can pick who's going to see this. I'm going to stick with the public blog for now. I'm going to go out to the public blog. 
select my Empower Network blog, put in a demo category, and the SEO options this time I'm just not going to fill in because they're optional and just to keep things kind of going. So let me go ahead and click publish. And so now I've got a video post that's already been published out to my blog. Just as easy as that. So it gets even better, though, when you're using the Empower Network. But video wait, service there's more is what he's basically yeah. trying to but say. But wait, there's more. If you're, if you're a customer of our video hosting service or our media hosting service, really, in the EV2 platform, you get audio and video galleries that you can choose from straight from your activity blog. So this time I'm going to go, let's do it um, video from EN. This time I'm going to click add video. I'm going to actually go down to browse from gallery. So now I can actually see different videos that we've taken that I'm going to be able to choose from that are actually already uploaded into my gallery. I'm going to select the demo video, click add video. It's already inside my video post. It's already uploaded to, our, to the Empower Network video hosting service. So now all I gotta do is enter a description. And isn't this an awesome view? And we'll go ahead and click uh, public blog, click the Empower Network blog again. We'll just keep using the demo category for now. Click publish, and that's all there is to it. So it's completely integrated. So that seems like not not like two or five or twenty, but like a hundred times easier than yeah. what we've got now. Ultimately, if you're a customer of the Empower of the Empower Network video hosting service, we try to make the entire experience completely integrated. So that way, you're, there's no more copying and embed code and trying to put it into HTML inside of a blog post or anything like that. Now that just got me excited because those of you who know me, I was trying to shoot a video. And I was like, you know, I was like, uh, oh, shoot. That I can actually upload. You never know idea. what's going to come out of either one of our mouths at any time. You know? Oh, no. So. It can be random. So I can click up here. All I do is I can basically choose a title. I can choose the destination URL as well if I want to be able to change wherever my banner clicks actually go to. So let's make sure I don't um, lever that. You can edit or upload an individual image. And we have different size adjustments based on the particular temp template that you're using to be able to help you, um, you know, make sure you're sizing appropriately and all those sorts of things to make it really easy to edit. But I can edit those. You know, I can edit everything from the, the side banner here. I can edit the footers. If I come down to things like footer data or pa page customizations, let's just look at f footer data you know, first. With footer data, I can go in and change all the different links, different titles, you know, different places where things go. I can go over to page customization. I can actually add static pages. So if you have static content that isn't blog related that you're going to manage from inside the activity feed um, that you just want to be able to have on your own, you know, we can do that here. All you have to do is be able to add a static page and add your content, you're good to go. We also have other places here. You can do, you know, there's other types of things you can choose. We can turn off and on different types of features. And, you know, when you get started playing the platform, there's a lot of things that you can end up doing to play with customization. And so, you know, we're trying to make it, though, that, to give you the power to be able to show the presence that you want online, everything from how your blog is presented to the URL that they're actually navigating to get there to, but also making it as easy as possible and as grandma proof and just making it the most badass blog on the web, honestly, to be able to take over all the other template crap that people have to deal with. Yeah. So just to keep on But going, wait, there's, but there's more. more. So actually, if I look back here, I can start seeing some other posts that have happened. Um, just as just in the time where I've actually been up here, uh, you know, playing around. So um, somebody else on my team has made a private post. Let's go over that real quick, just so I can show you what that is, and then we'll kind of look in the content. <laughs> so if I click um, underneath the message title, we'll just do a my first private post. Don't worry, Casey. I can't spell either, and everybody knows it. Yeah, I, auto, the, the damn autocorrect is what always ends up getting me. Is so, you know. so um, the difference with private posts is instead of choosing public blog, I can actually choose if I want it to go to all my team members, effectively meaning anyone who I've ever sponsored, 
including my, sp or, or including my sponsor. And I can also segment it based on the particular program. So if I have content that I want to be able to target specific to inner circle members or inner circle subscribers, I can do that. And all I have to do is I choose, say for this one, I'm going to choose inner circle. Um, I could also, they also are additive. So if I wanted to say I wanted inner circle and 15K, I could do that. So all I do is click the next one. Even better. Wait, there's, there's more. more. Hey, every, everybody repeat after me. Wait, there's more. Wait, there's more. Uh, uh. So. <laughs> hey, from now on, when we go like this, say, wait, there's more. Practice once. Wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have the ability to segment my post and show it in the activity feed, but one of the most cool things that we've added in here is you have the ability to send an email notification to the people that are actually getting that blog post at the same time you're publishing. So if I wanted to send an email notification at that, all I do is check off the box. It'll appear in those people's activity feeds when they log in, but Better yet, they have an email sitting in their inbox telling them that they have something that they need to go and check out. So, so Casey, this is not only this is not only an external sales machine, but this is like an internal sales machine. Absolutely. So, if somebody like if somebody says, I, "I've got this training that I," and I want you to visualize this with me, that only my inner circle members can see, right? And if you're not in the inner circle. You can't see it. They can do that, right? Yep, they don't see it. And better yet, the people... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> better yet, the people who don't see it know they don't see it because the post shows up. Yep. Hey, hey, tell us what it does. Hey, hey, no, say... Hold on, hold on. Hey, say, that's dirty. From now on, when Dave Sharp goes like this, say, that's dirty. <laughs> so what it actually appears as, what it actually appears as is they don't get to see the content because they're not a subscriber, but what they get to see is that they get to see that the fact that they're not seeing premium content, and they get to upgrade straight from the activity feed. Come on, folks! Come on! KC, 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 KC. But, but. <laughs> there is more, Dave. So we, we talked about a little bit ago, when we showed the reblog, I didn't show the badass button. So one of the things that I can do, you know, I can look through and just see, here's my engineering team actually sitting backstage. So let's actually see what they had to say. Let's play this video. So they're actually all back, and they're the ones who are actually made all this happen. So I want to make sure we actually say hi to them. So let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. So I think that particular post is badass. So I just click the badass button on that. I want to go and see and badass a couple more posts. But ultimately, what that ends up leading to is I can sort my post by the number of times the individuals within that have actually seen that post can badass them. So if I just go and sort by badass posts, I'm going to see uh, the video from Ian actually got three, in, three badasses that are, that are associated with it. So it just gives us a way to have social interaction on the platform, both with public posts and with private posts. So, and, you know, so I saw this was another post I got from the engineering team. Uh, let me scroll down here and look. Oh, wait a minute. Remember that video that I took when I came out, when I was walking around? I thought that was for your I No, that no, was no I, for I was doing family. that. I, well, you know, it was my first, you know, first time, well, second time on stage. I thought yeah. I actually captured a little bit. I, that was actually, um, let's see, I think that's this video. How did you there upload you that already? Um, And 
And, obvious, and I obviously didn't do the right thing with the no, location. No, you did it. I was just going to say. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. So, Casey, you're saying when you walked out here, you were taking that video and you posted that when you sat down. Yep. That's exactly right what I'm saying. Phone. But, Casey, I didn't even see you do that, so it didn't take that long? No, it was posted up in, you know, I took, that was what, 30, 45 second video. It was up there within a minute, minute and a half. Up to our video hosting service encoded and already published to my blog. Because I put that out on the public blog, so if I come back here and actually look at it, we'll actually see that post right there. Public. It's magic! <laughs> that, that was sneaky, dude. <laughs> so with mobile, so what we've done with mobile is we've actually built fully functional apps that replicate all, and I mean all, of the features that I just showed on the desktop version in the browser straight from your mobile device on iPhone and tablet. Wait, Casey, so, so can, I, can I, for example, I want to ask a question. Yeah. Could I sit, t push this button, it says take video, take a video, make a message to my team, tag the people in the inner circle in it, and that would just pop up in people's back offices, and if they didn't have the inner circle, it would say, upgrade now. Um, yeah. Hold on a second. Pretty much, yeah. Hold, hold on. Without ever even logging in on the computer? Without ever, ever, without ever logging in on the computer. Come on, folks! Come on! Casey. Oh. <laughs> that was weak. Casey, go again. <laughs> oh, God. So, <laughs> so we actually support, when we're going out, we have apps for iPhone, for iPad, for Android, and for Android tablet. Why at all? So, and what's ever better, what's even better is I can see my entire activity feed. You know, if I navigate around, you know, I can actually go and watch all of my training from my mobile device. So all your products are accessible. I can email. I have access to my back office information like leaderboards, competition info, commissions, pretty much anything that you can see inside the ENV2 platform on the web, I can manage straight from my mobile device. So you know how much time you spend on your phone now? We're about to like quadruple that. Yeah. So. Who thinks that's badass, guys? Are we done, we're done with the demo? Huh? Who thinks, that, who thinks that was worth waiting for about a year? Okay, uh, what, what I want to do here real quick, guys, there's some questions that are just going to pop up if we don't answer them. Oh, sure. Right? So I'd like to just ask him some questions that I know people will be asking uh, for a couple of minutes. So uh, uh, first of all, how much is it going to cost for the existing blog customers to, to have this upgraded version of the blog when, when we're this? It's going to be the same $25 you've been paying all So I'm going to pay now. I'm just getting excited and my brain's going a little bit blank, you know, uh, from, from this. Um, last, last, last thing, actually, I don't know if you have any other, uh, other questions, but... I'm just, I'm, is all I can think about is total internet domination. Yeah, uh, pretty much. From other things out there. Well, we've built, effectively, you know, an entire another network on every single level of competition with the other major players that are out there in the blogging space. Everything from Tumblr, from TypePad, you know, certainly WordPress, and we're certainly easier to use than WordPress. But we've, we've built a platform to be able to interact both with just empowered network members, but also customers that are coming to anybody that wants to have a presence online. This is their platform. 
we built this to be everyone's platform that wants to be able to make money online, whether it's from someone that's an Empower Network affiliate to someone who's... Breakthrough! Everybody say breakthrough! I, I don't There's know. millions, I think almost three million. It, it doesn't matter. There's millions of dollars, yeah. almost three million, I think. But, but here's really my question is... Is this like it? Are we like letting the tech team go now, sending them home? Oh, like, uh, no. Is this it? Or is there like, and I don't want to give away too much, but we, are we already working on, on, on anything else? Oh, yeah. Well, and there's, there's even things, you know, there's, there is wait, waiting on it, and there's going to be more. Because this is the foundation, the bailing of the new thing, right? What's going to end up happening over the next year is going to blow your mind. Because we're going to take it from this to where any other criticism and any other feature that could possibly be out there from the tumblers or the type pads or the WordPresses or whoever other blogging platform is out there, we're not done until utter domination, until we are the number one platform that's out there. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second here when I, when I hype everybody up. <laughs> That's my job, is to create notes. Casey talks, David creates hype. <laughs> you think I'm kidding, right? Uh, there was something else that I wanted to ask you, uh, but it's not in my head right now. Um, wait, there's more. Uh, actually, that's a great actually, question. That is a actually. question. We actually, that is a, actually very good. I'm glad that got brought up. The entire site was built with multilingual in mind to be able to support straight up languages out of the box. So, so we're going to be coming out actually very soon after launch. Maybe not right at launch, but very soon after launch. This, and we're talking this year after launch. We're going to be coming out with other language support. And so we were actually built just from the ground up when we built this new platform. Is we wanted to take some of those pains that were kind of associated with the old site away to where we can easily and quickly actually go to pretty much any country worldwide, have a, a localized blog to where that business can just expand exponentially. And guys, I want to I wanna give another perspective on this real quick. Uh, recently, we moved like 95% of our customer service to Costa Rica to bilingual people, uh, specifically because of the fact that when we translate everything and launch in Spanish, uh, they'll already be trained to support. How many of you guys can really envision having a team of, of you know, Multi people speaking all kinds of different languages all over the world. Can you, can you really see that? Can you really see that? Does that fit into your vision? A downline of 100,000 people, your event being this big, and maybe Silvio over in Portugal or, or somebody over in Russia, right? Somebody down in Mexico, events going on in Costa Rica, people blogging in multiple different languages. I mean, can you guys see that? That's where we're going. I say, I say, if if you're good, I say we transition over because we've got a plan, and and uh, uh, over the next uh, basically 60 days or so, we've got a plan, and, and we're going to map that out for you. Uh, but what I, I really want you guys to do here, and and, and then I'm done. I'm going to turn it over to Dave here because truthfully, uh, I'm just I'm literally more excited about this than I've ever been about anything, not only in business, besides having my daughter and getting engaged to my beautiful future wife, which she's standing right there, right? I have never been as this excited about anything else in my entire life. But I, I, guys, here's the, here's the real truth is we need you guys behind us, right? We need you guys behind us because we've been kind of quietly behind the scenes. And, and again, when we started this company, the, the motivation was not to, to figure out how Dave and I could, you know, go out there and get rich and take over the universe. It was how can we assemble an army, right? How can we assemble an army of people who are all going out there with cutting edge products, who are all going out there and impacting and changing people's lives by sharing our stories and letting people know that they can be themselves and be successful. And how can we really create the richest team? And guys, now the vision is starting to become a reality, right? For the first year or so, year and a half, we did a lot of just hyping stuff up and running hard. 
right? Because sometimes that's what you've got to do in marketing. You've got to build culture. You've got to build teams. You've got to really build things up to let people know where you're going. And then once you know that people are following you and they've bought into the vision, then you really start going there and building a, a solid foundation. And guys, this is what you saw right here, right now, is really a defining moment. And I don't know if you've ever had one of those in your life to where it's just one of those moments in time to where you attended something. Maybe it was the launch of, of a company that's now a, a multi-billion dollar company. Maybe it was a phone call that you was on. Maybe it was somebody who you met, but it was a defining moment. Maybe it was somebody, a time like I was when I was in that bathroom, right? And I just made a decision that I wasn't going uh, to, to uh, continue to kill myself. <laughs> as this is a defining moment in Empower Network. So if you guys are on board... Let's freaking map out a damn game plan for domination. You guys down? <laughs>